Jenny. Yeah. Well, we've all just been voted in the House of Commons, and Super Saturday just turned into Souffle Saturday. <laughs> but, but out here, it is very, still very much alive and well. And we were looking at a deal that many people say if you didn't support, you weren't a Democrat. But we all know that selling the people short is not democracy. We have a deal that falls far short of the expectations that were set during the referendum campaign. A deal that Theresa May herself rejected. It was the EU's opening offer. But we all know that as a country, we are better off in the EU, on, ranking on a par with France and Germany, rather than outside of the EU, outside of the decision-making rooms, turned into a nation of lobbyists. And that is why what you are doing today matters so much. We need to send the message loud and clear that after three and a half years, so many different versions of Brexit. There are as many forms of Brexit as there are Brexiteers. The people should get a final say with Remain on the ballot paper. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! You are amazing. I guess you love marching. Yes! <laughs> we may be marching again because it's not over. But today, our message to Boris is, Brexit is not done. No! Boris, you lost today. Yes! Brexit can be stopped tomorrow. Yes! And thanks to you, the chances of stopping Brexit have never been so high. And I want to thank each and every one of you, and I look forward to seeing you on the next march. Because we need a final say, because the last referendum, if you remember it, didn't quite tell the truth. Yeah. Can you remember one of the leaders of the Leave campaign? A certain Boris Johnson. Do you remember him? Do you remember what he said? He said you could vote Leave and we'd still stay in the single market. Can we believe anything our Prime Minister says? No! He does not have the mandate for this deal. He does not have the mandate for Brexit. And that's why we need a final say. And we will campaign with you all the way to get that final say. And when we do, we've got to do two things. First of all, we've got to reach out to our leave brothers and sisters yeah. because if there's one thing that this whole thing has taught us is that we live in a country that's too unfair and too unequal and we must work together to tackle that inequality yes and when we come to the ballot when we get that people's vote fairness will be on the ballot climate change will be on the ballot Peace will be on the ballot. Our future will be on the ballot and we must win it. Yes. So thank you for what you've done so far. Thank you for what you're going to do in the future. And it is my great pleasure and privilege to introduce my friend, my party leader to you, Joe Swinson. Yeah.